One of the common phrases I hear all the time from my members in my community is, Michelle, I see you everywhere. How the hell do you get all these things done? What is your secret sauce? So today I am going to peel back the curtain and I'm going to give you a behind the scene look of how I structure my social media strategy. So stick around because I'm sharing my entire routine of my special gift to you and include a social media checklist that you're going to get at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on that notification bell up because every time I release a new video, you're going to hear about it as soon as it comes out. If you're new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to simplify their social media marketing so that they can get seen, get heard, and get their paying clients in their coaching business. Today we are going to talk about, well, I'm actually going to peel back the curtain and show you and walk you through what my social media strategy is. And so there's a lot of platform I am currently on. I'm on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, and then I have my own blog and I do podcasts. So if you count all the social media platform that's out there, basically I have a foot into it. And this is something that's new and something that I don't encourage if you're new and starting out from your coaching business journey, I do not recommend that you be on all the social media platform. I actually recommend that you pick one to two platform and stick to them. Because when you're first starting out, you're kind of still testing the water, trying to figure out which platform works for you, where your ideal avatars are. And so you might not have that bandwidth to know that uh, I can repurpose this post, I can do this. And so when you are on too many social media platforms, it only drives you nuts and only <laughs> drives you to overwhelm. So instead of diversifying and being on all the channels, you actually want to just narrow it down to one to two platform and take ownership of those two platforms. Now, once you start mastering those platforms, then you can start to diversify and be on TikTok, be on everywhere that you want to be because now you have a system in place that allows you to diversify without feeling like I'm getting all over the place and I get nothing done as a coach, which is why a lot of coaches feel like, do I have to be on all the social media? Can I just be a coach? You absolutely can. And this is how it's done. So today I'm going to share my routine with you on how I manage my social media content and how does that look like? What does that look like? And how do I even know what to share and what to post? So I'm going to break down my steps of how I create content and what type of content do I create and how do I know to create them? But first and foremost, my step number one is always sitting down and figure out what my weekly theme would be. What is my weekly theme and what is my goal of what I share and what I want to post? So let's say for example, this week, I am giving away social media checklists. All right, so that's my number one giveaway for this week. So if you need a copy, I'm going to share the link down in the description box so that you can download a copy. It basically has a checklist that walk you through all the things that you might want to consider in doing if you want to uh, create that social media online presence. So I walk you through the step-by-step -step and checklist format of what needs to be done, including like writing a post and creating Canva, all these little minute details that you might not be aware of. You'll be able to download that in the resource I'm sharing in the description box. So the first thing is I identify a, a weekly theme of what do I want to accomplish in my business. So maybe it's a workshop that you're offering this week. And so you might want to drive all the traffic to that workshop. Then so that workshop become my theme for that particular week. Or maybe you have a goal of this week, I want to grow more followers. Then your call to action at the end, which we're going to talk about later, your goal is to just to encourage your followers to follow you on social media. Now, with that, you might need to create content that just might appealing for the general public, right? So depending on what your goal is, you may have different set of content that you may want to create. 
So you wanted to think about what is the message that I want to convey, and this is going to set the tone for the rest of the week for your content that you're going to create. So that is my first and foremost step. When I sit down and create content every week, I typically use Saturday or Sunday to sit down and plan ahead of what my social media content is going to look like for the following week. So once you have decided, okay, so this week I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and that is the theme that you're going to follow through, then you gotta decide on what is your call to action. So for example, earlier I talked about this week, I am giving away the social media checklist. Then my call to action for that whole entire week is, hey guys, did you know that I'm giving away the checklist? You need to go and download, right? So it's clear that I have a reason for all the posting that I need to do. And so if it's a freebie, then I'm going to focus on talking about the freebie, what goes into that freebie, what does that freebie looks like, or what's the benefit of someone downloading in, in their inbox and what would that do for them. So all these become talking points and become content ideas that I can leverage and create content around. So once you identify your theme, you want to then decide on what do I want my audience to do? So if I'm encouraging you to download that checklist, then all my social media posts is going to center around the fact that, hey, I have this social media post, but did you know that you can address some of the overwhelm by downloading this? Or did you know that here are some steps that you can take to ensure that before you hit the post, you have all the copies and all the graphics that's ready to go. And if you want more information, you can go and download my checklist. So it becomes a center of an, an idea for you in terms of what do you want to create in your caption? What do you want to write about? And why is it important? And what's in it for your audience to actually have this? So that could be a freebie. It could be a course that you're offering. It could be your one-on-one -on -one coaching or your strategy call, discovery call, breakthrough call, whatever that you're going to offer them that becomes your call to action for the week based on the theme that you have identified. So that's step number two. That These are the two things I do before I even sit down and actually start writing. So I have the clear idea of what I want to accomplish, what would be my call to action, and then I would go ahead and start creating my anchor content. What is an anchor content? Sometimes you hear me talking about it as a hero content. A hero content is basically that big value piece of content that you create and you send out to the audience, but that drives all the themes, all the traffic, all the goals that you have for your social media followers to do that one thing. So Typically, hero content or anchor content is something that's a longer format. It could be a blog post, it could be a video that you do, it could be a podcast that you are recording. That becomes your center of the focus that anchors based on the theme that you have for that particular week. So you typically create this hero content, and that becomes the cornerstone of your content for that particular week. So this week I'm creating a social media uh, strategy or behind the scene of how I, how I routinely um, break down these steps in, before I create content, that this particular piece is my anchor piece. So all my other social media posts would be focusing around the fact that, hey, if you're feeling overwhelmed, I got some tips for you, how to manage your social media, even without being an expert in social media management. So far, you have created a thing, you know what your call to action is, and you're going to create that long form content, which is a blog post, it could be a video, like I said, or it could be a podcast. Now, once you create that anchor piece, once you create that anchor content, what you want to do is then you can go back and repurpose this content. So I can take out a segment from this long form, which is about 15, 20 minutes long, depending on how long I start rambling about things. <laughs> I, I can take out a snippet of this uh, video and chop it into a 30 second video or 60 second video. And I can repurpose it into a YouTube short, or it could be going onto a TikTok, or it could be on my Instagram. So now I have multiple pieces of the same video that I can repurpose on different platforms. Now, if you just have one to two platform, that's even easier because then you have multiple pieces that you can schedule out throughout the week and there's never going to be one single repeatable content, even though the topic and the theme is the same. 
Okay, so you maximize your content by repurposing it because you have spent so much time in creating this long form content. Whether it's a blog post, you've spent days trying to come up with it, or it's a video, you have to put the makeup on and you have to turn the lighting on and making sure all the equipment is in place before you hit the record button. You have spent so much time in creating that piece of content, then that's make it the most out of it. So maximize your content by repurposing it. And there's multiple ways and technology so comment down below if you want me to do a video on what type of technology that I'm using for recording or to edit or to uh, make it all pretty with the transition and all that stuff, comment down below to let me know so I can go ahead and produce a video for you on that. One of the things that a lot of coaches are coming to me right now is that they want to know the setup. Like they're like, Michelle, you're so great with the video. How do you do that? So if that's you, comment down below. Let me know that this is something that you want me to create. All right. So we got the theme, we got the call to action, we got the anchor content, and you are maximizing to the fullest potential of your piece of content that you have created and repurpose it. The next step for me, it's actually to sit down and start writing those captions for the mini bite-sized social media posts. So once I create this YouTube video, what I do is I go back, I do the edit, I do the um, making sure that all the transcription is there, and I take those transcription and I turn it into smaller bite size. So I would take out maybe a couple of the key talking points. So I was talking about how to repurpose your content. So I might just take that one bullet point and turn that into a social media post. Now, with the benefit of having ChatGPT and AI, this process can be easily done and assisted by your AI technology. So if you are not using ChatGPT or any type of AI technology, I would love for you to hit the video down below. I'm going to link the video down below so that you can start getting familiar with ChatGPT and AI, what AI can do for you. And nowadays, let's face it, AI is everywhere. So if you're not using it, you're actually kind of like the old days when our parents didn't want to learn the cell phone. And guess what? Their error, I, I know my dad is this way. So he is still in that flip phone era. So if you give him a, an iPhone, he does not know how to operate the iPhone, right? And so you don't want to be in that position where you're losing track of all the technology that, that's available to you, especially they're making your life so much easier. So once you have repurposed that content, what you can do is then you can take that piece and being able to repurpose it into a smaller bite-sized social media post. And these posts would be focusing on like the, the center of my anchor content, the, this social media routine and the checklist I have for myself. And once you have that, then you can repurpose it and post it onto your Instagram, your Facebook, your LinkedIn. And the opportunity and the sky is your limit, basically. So don't be afraid to repost and, and cross post to your platform as long as you know that you can change the format and the uh, call to action for each particular platform. All right, so we cover basically how I sit down and create my content every single week. And this has become part of my routine practice. So every week I would pick one day, which is my batching content day. It's my theme for that week. And I would sit down for one day, right? I would look at what is the theme I'm going to create or what is my goal for this week? I would then create a call to action. What do I want my audience to do? Do I want to grow my email list? Do I want to grow my YouTube channel? What is it that I want my audience to do for me? And then I would think about, okay, so these are the things I want to accomplish. What can I create that would not only be able to provide values for the people who's watching this video, who's following me on social, but it will also help them to get more or learn more from the resources that I'm providing. And so what type of content do I need to provide? What type of value do I need to talk about? And what type of uh, strategies or tips I need to include in creating that piece of content? It could be a 15 minute video, it could be a blog post, whatever makes easier for you. And if you need to know like which strategy or which method works best for you, I also have a video on that. I'll link it in the description box below so that you can go check out that video. Once you have those, then you want to repurpose them. 
and you already spend so much time in creating your long form content, why not just repurpose it? And repurposing means that you can take out bite size, an idea, a bullet point, and elaborate on that single bullet point, which is also related to your weekly theme. So there's so many things that you can do with just that bullet point as long as you come up with it and it makes your life so much easier so that you don't have to feel like your job is a coach and not a content creator, which is absolutely true 100%. And this is how you can manage manage and work more efficiently as a coach, especially if you're a solopreneur, right? If you're first starting out, you probably don't have a team and you're probably doing this by yourself. So that's make your life easier and it doesn't have to be that complex. So here's what I'm going to have for you. I actually put together a social media checklist that will walk you through like what are some of the steps that you need to do in order to create that social media content. It's all packed with the information and the steps that you need to streamline your social media strategy. And the link is down in the description box below. So all you have to do is click the link and it's going to take you to a download and you can have that checklist in front of you every time you sit down to create your social media post. I hope you found this video helpful, comment down below. I would love to hear what has been your current social media content creation strategy. Do you have one? If so, what has been working for you? What has been like absolutely trash and not working for you? And you would love to have a new way, a new approach of how you go about creating your content. Comment down below. Let me know. Let's get a conversation going. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week.